Good evening. How cool is it that here in Idaho every single year for the last seven years, we have an entire day dedicated to giving back. And how cool is it that so many of you are participating in Idaho Gives? Thousands have already donated to more than 500 Idaho nonprofits. The goal, we've been telling you for weeks, $1.7 million raised by midnight tonight. And guess what? Mm. Studio audience, give it up. Grab the cowbells. <laughs> We're on pace to hit that mark right now. Yes, look at, look at the numbers. We're at one point, well over $1.3 million. It's looking good. 586 nonprofits have received donations from 9,013 donors. So many people jumping in this afternoon, Mark. It's been fun to watch that number just go up mm -hmm. and up. The call for donations and outreach is also happening at some Idaho Gives events today. Brian Holmes is hanging out at the official block party. But first, Tammy Tremblay is at the Canyon County Idaho Gives party at Indian Creek Plaza. Hi, Tammy. Hi, you guys. It's really starting to get fun out here. The band started playing. It kicked off at 4 o'clock and it's running until 7. It's been really fun to get to know a lot of these nonprofits that are here in Canyon County. There are 20 that have set up here to let people know what they're all about. And we all know about Meals on Wheels. And so I wanted to talk a little bit more about the program here in Caldwell. And let's start off with this mother-daughter team. This is Julie Warwick and you're the program coordinator here in Caldwell. I am, yes ma'am. You do so much here. Tell us about everyone that you serve. Well, you know, we've got our oldest client is 104 years old, still lives in his own home, and we've got about 85 others that we take hot meals to every day. And not just Caldwell, we also serve um, meals in Middleton and Greenleaf as well, and the rural areas of Caldwell. And it's about really letting seniors maintain their independence and living on their own. Exactly right. Many of them would not be able to do it if not for getting a hot meal every day. And having someone that just comes by and check on them, you know, that's, that's just as important as the meal, is somebody being there to check on them and see how they're doing. Yeah, and of course, you're passionate about it and your daughter's passionate. Kelly, why did you decide to get involved? I really started to get involved. My mom got the job 10 years ago. I was 13. I absolutely just loved it from the first time I went out, meeting so many great people, but also knowing that sometimes I'm their only interaction for the day. I really made a lot of great friends out of these seniors who've become part of a family, and I couldn't see myself ever not participating with Meals on Wheels in some capacity. You guys do great work. Thanks so much for talking with us. Again, they operate on donations from the community. So if you can, please give to the Caldwell Meals on Wheels program. And they're always looking for volunteers as well. And the event here again at Indian Creek Plaza is running until 7 o'clock. Let's send it out to Boise and check in with Brian. Well, Tammy, of the nearly 600 organizations vying for your donations today, 50 of them are wrapped around this block here on La Pointe and Lusk, just on the east side of Ann Morrison Park. We've got Discovery Center of Idaho over here. We've got Boise Firefighters Local 149. You can try on some of their outfits, their turnout gear, and have a contest. And over here, we have Recreation Unlimited working on some, uh, some dealers over here. But I want to talk to Becky really quickly. Becky, you have a quick second? Becky, this is with Recreation Unlimited. Yeah. Tell us what you guys do. We teach skiing and snowboard lessons to people with special needs, like that little guy that was just here. He's going to be a student next year uh, up at Bogus Basin. And uh, we've been around for 40 years. Wow. Uh, we're all volunteers, have almost 90 volunteer uh, ski and snowboard instructors. We gave over 400 lessons this year. We're all volunteers. Nobody gets paid. Uh, because Bogus Basin is generous, they provide us with season passes. But any money we raise tonight, goes for training. We want to have the best training for our instructors um, so that we're safe, we're fun, and we are teaching them how to ski and snowboard and be more independent. You guys are not only looking for donations, looking for volunteers. Absolutely, always looking for volunteers. Um, not only ski and snowboard instructor volunteers, but we have other people that help out uh, with our social media, with our webpage. We've had um, other p community partners that come alongside and, and help us out. All right, so this is amazing because you can kind of get an idea of what they do here. This is one of your carts that you guys train on. And so people can come down here tonight and take a look at this, actually get a feel for it, take a little spin around if you'd like. You guys do great things, and Bogus Basin obviously is growing and growing, and they want to be a part of it, and they need your help to do that. So hopefully you can continue. We've got a little bit of time left. We're going to send it back to the studio. Mark? 
D, I, should, I believe. Yeah, Brian, and we're trying to make it as easy as possible for people to give. Look at this great volunteer bank that we have right here in the studio taking your phone calls. They've been pretty busy, but they'd like to be even busier. So call 1-877-ID-GIVES or 1-877-434-4837. Again, we're hoping to raise $1.7 million. Looks like we're on track. But that means a lot of people still need to jump in and help out. Boy, that's the busiest they've been in hours, and it's great to see.